Have fun, Austin. Have fun. All right, so the half marathoner guys have the green tag on them. And you can tell that they're running a little faster. So you got them, you got her. Actually, I think Natalie Bress is supposed to be running it. She goes to the Mel High. She's really good at running. I think she committed to uh, uh, University of Alabama Birmingham, which is a very good school for what she's trying to do. And also Liam Wiles is supposed to be here, running for a senior project, so I'm waiting for him to go by. Uh, he might be a little bit though, because he had a soccer game last night. <laughs> so that should be interesting. Meanwhile, you got Mr. Drone up here. I would have my drone, but I'm currently using this right now, and I can't use both, because that's kind of hard to do. Good job, Natalie! Big man, Liam. Control. All right. Control. I only got to only got to do it for another 5K, and then you're done. Yeah, I know. Easy stuff. You feeling good? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Good. Yeah. Really? What was he doing? He was standing out there with a sign. Oh. Did he recognize you? Yeah, he did. I saw Adrian. Really? Yeah. What's his dad out there, too? No, it was just Adrian running. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're all like, I didn't know you were running this. You had a game. You're alpha. Yeah, so alpha. Big boy team. You gotta keep in mind that exactly. other people are sleeping on the road. Right. <laughs> This is where you really start to feel the pain. As you can see in the background, they're coming up on the causeway. Um, so, but they've got a pretty scenic view and they got bands playing all over the place. So Liam today was just gonna put his headphones in and just start grinding down. So he's got about a mile and a half to go. Looking pretty strong, I do have to say. I'm really impressed considering he had a soccer game last night. And I'm really impressed with in general that he's doing pretty well. He seems to be cruising right by these guys. He's passing up the 215 group right here. So he's making some pretty good time. Now actually, no, this is the 205 group. There he goes. Now hopefully he's not using too much because he still has to go over the causeway. Um, but I, I believe in him. He's got that mentality, that alpha mentality, pushing him through. So we'll see how he does and I'll definitely keep you guys updated. Liam's looking good. Liam's feeling good. Liam is unstoppable. All we do, we just gotta conquer this causeway and then straight down to the finish. Like I said, we just gotta push it up the causeway and then it's an easy trip down straight to the finish, so you just gotta be mentally strong to do this part. And that'll get them all the way through. Alright, so Liam in the background, there's the causeway over there. That's the O'Galley Causeway. We're on the Melbourne Causeway right now. But he came from all the way over there 
and now he's on this one. So that gives you guys some perspective on how far he's come. I would like to say that's pretty impressive. Just finished two hours, two minutes, 31 seconds. I'm not exactly sure what pace that is, but that is pretty respectable if you ask me. He was really cruising for the last three miles, and I'm pretty proud of him. So, good job finishing that half to Liam when you're watching this. There he is. How was it? Dude, I started cramping. Yeah. I don't bring out over the bridge. Well, it's all over. It's all over. I'm done. <laughs> Go home, fall asleep, Senior project get a lot. Done. Senior project done, that's right. That was almost more of a workout for me, biking up back all the way. I'm gonna feel that tomorrow. Uh, yeah. I have to recover for a game by Wednesday. Yeah, that's true. Let's see if there's any food. Yeah, I'm feeling some more pizza. Oh, right, yeah. And then the last mile, how bad do you think I was going in the last, like, mile-ish? You were flying on the last mile. Really? I would say sub-7. Really? Oh. Christian Camps appeared out of nowhere. Hey, Christian. Yeah. I was so run? tired, and then Jared, like, run faster. And I'm like, yeah. fine. I had the marathon. Yeah, what was your time? It was you, you broke two? Two hours? Two hours. Well, New American record. Well, I just thought about that. The people breaking the two hours. Oh yeah, they ran <laughs> twice as fast as you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. How does that make you feel? I'm slow and unathletic. That's how I feel. Don't say that. <laughs> Shout out to Liam. He got me some pizza. His mom's by my bike. Hopefully it's not stolen. Volunteering at the half marathon today. Got anything to say? Good job, everyone. Good job, everyone. All right, sweet. Appreciate you volunteering. About the free food and the free drinks at these races. Shout out to whoever this is, Natalie's Lemonade for the free lemonades. But there's like 56, no, there's 26 grams of sugar in one of these. But you know, it's all worth it. I just finished running my half. Christian just finished the whole marathon. Liam just finished the ultra marathon. So it's all worth it. Oh, look at that dog. Hey, dog. Uh, Jared, this one's health, but only has 21 grams of sugar. Oh, wow. Really yeah. one up of me. This guy got the Xeon Crane gimbal over here. I've got the one smaller than his. This has 22. He's got the big boy one. Oh, Liam's even one up of me. I got the 26. I'm vlogging the vlogger. What's your Matty? Wait, where's Liam's name? Where are you at? Number 13 right there. Number 13 running oh, uh, 159.44. Nine minute pace, look at that. Hey, nine that's what you wanted. Minutes. That's not bad. It's pretty good. For your like, first gonna run Let's nine minute pace. Did you beat Kayla? Did, did you beat it. Kayla? I don't know. I feel like you did. I feel like I did. Even though you weren't trying. Really good. Hey, and I had a game last night. 
and we're going to regional finals. Uh huh. It went to overtime. Yep. Got five hours of sleep, less oh, maybe. Wow. Impressive. I'm grinding. Grinding. That's what the alpha way is. Impressive. I wonder who won this. The dude who won is from Virginia. Michigan. Then from dude, Virginia. I like so I'm coming in on like five wait, wait, one, ten. That's, that's insane. Like, that's better than my five. That's better than my two mile time. Oh hey dog, that's a big dog. That's that is oh my, my two God. mile time. Five minute pace. Five, yeah, that's a five twenty two pace. I could do that for like a mile and a half right now, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I could probably do that. Actually, I couldn't I, even I, do I, that for two I think mile. It might... All right, so it's been how? When did the half or the marathon start? Six. Yeah. All right, so it's nine thirty six, and we still got the guys running. Like that's their lead. I don't know. That's death right there. Like, if I've ever seen anything more miserable in my life, it's probably like 80 degrees out at least. And they still got this entire Melbourne Causeway to run over. And honestly, I'm glad I'm in a car right now. I'm glad Christian was there so he could drive me home because otherwise I'd be biking home. My legs are already sore, so... Yeah, these people are just really regretting their life choices right now. <laughs> Something you can tell a lot. Yeah, you can just, just tell. Like, They're like, them. oh, geez, what did I ever get myself into? But oh well, go for them, for at least trying. Because I would never even try. That's not something I'm trying to do in my life. But now, I have to go home and do Calcomer. Yay. Oh, so do I. I got a cup test on Monday. And I got an essay to write, so that's gonna be exciting. Honestly, I think I really went to this just so I could avoid doing that, but now I have to face reality. Okay, that lady's feeling pretty saucy. Yeah. Oh yeah, this guy's regretting life. Oh, he had the expression. Yeah. That was the expression. Day after day, seems like I push against the clouds. They just keep locking. 